Hey guys, the zoo is doing everything they can to protect their avian populations, but exhibitions like these may not be here for much longer if the flu gets worse. Temporary measures are in place, biosecurity procedures are in place, and the difficulty comes in detection. Certain species don't have those outward types of symptoms that go with avian flu, whereas others certainly do. Now, the zoo is saying that this is a well-researched disease, but there's still a lot of unknowns about it still. There's a lot of species that we don't even know how susceptible they are. Um, and for ones that are very genetically valuable for conservation, we may not necessarily want to try to find out. So the zoo has said that they're doing what they call biosecurity procedures to keep their animals safe. That includes disinfectants, that includes protecting enclosures from wild birds, and then, of course, eliminating any interactions between wild birds and animals here at the zoo. So that includes something like the flamingo habitat, but the parrots behind me here, they have that enclosure so no wild birds can come in and they can limit that interaction and that potential risk of exposure. That makes sense. All right, Andrew Hubner reporting live for us at the Sacramento Zoo. Andrew, thank you.